Okay, so now we can try to change it, this to add. Mm, that doesn't really work for us. Maybe multiply. Just play around with the transfer mode. For now, I'll set this to normal. Try to set this to add. Yeah, this looks kind of cool. So we can maybe hit MM, bring the expansion in. This will sh shrink the energy ball and bring up the feather amount. Maybe something like this. This creates this kind of cool core to it. Okay, so um, when this is done, we can uh, start animating our uh, uh, our fractal noise. So how to do this is to go to the beginning of your clip, make sure you have the fractal noise uh, layer selected, click the little stop watch in out of <laughs> but in the side of this evolution tab. This allows you to set a key, set keyframes, then go to the end of your clip and then maybe change it to like three. Let's try and see how that works. If we preview this, hmm, let's change it to maybe six. One kind of rough. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, keep in mind that this ball will be flying very fast and maybe have motion blur on it. Right, so now that this is, this is done, we want it to be shooting out of his hands right when he reaches this, this point. Okay, great. To do that, we first of all, we need to pre-compose all these layers. That means that we will create another composition, uh, storing the information of these layers and make them appear as only one layer in this composition. So se shift select all of these, go to layer, pre-compose, we will call this energy ball, move all attributes, click OK. So now it's only one layer. You have to change the transfer mode to add on this. OK. Great. Now we'll go to the point where we want this to start fading in. So right about here, I think. Then hit, uh, then go down this tab, go, click transform, and then you see all the transform properties like position, scale, rotation, and opacity. Okay, hit the stopwatch for all of these. Then, then select uh, your layer and scale it down. position it in his hands we make it very small because we want this to appear this way and then go maybe yeah two frames forward right here make it a lot bigger like this so it, it's filled off out oh sorry so it's like f formed the, it like the shape was f uh, defined by his hands and then we could go forward on a one, two, three, four, five frames, and then move it out of the frame in a rather straight line. Okay, so now we have this kind of as animation going. We might need to adjust the position of this. This looks pretty cool, actually. I want it to get a little bit bigger when it reaches the point, this point, so we'll just scale it up like this. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, now we'll keyframe the opacity. So at this point, we want the opacity to be zero. Then when he... At this point, we want it to be zero too. Then when he reaches the final position then it should be a hundred so it like fades in and it shoots out let's try to preview this by hitting zero on the numpad that's uh, that actually looks pretty good to make some glow around the energy ball you can just click the layer go to effect then stylize glow this is a great effect for creating glows um, then maybe pump up the radius a bit, like something like this. 
then to play around with the intensity and the color threshold and stuff. Um, maybe yeah, we want this to be behind. Yeah, it should add and yeah, just play around with these settings. I think that this looks pretty great. Okay, so now we have that. Let me check the duration. Okay. I always lose track on time on my uh, tutorials. Alright, now let's add some motion blur to this by uh, going... Uh, After Effects have uh, some awesome motion blur. So go to toggle switches slash modes and then hit the little motion blur uh, icon in front of this uh, energy ball layer and then hit the motion blur tab right here. This creates this motion blurry thingy thing <laughs> so when you go ahead and preview this it renders a lot slower but it looks awesome okay now we want to add a little bit glow on our character to make it look just a little bit more realistic you can later apply this same technique on the ground then just have it keyframed by uh, following this energy ball but now for now we'll just do it on the character so we want the glow to begin here. So what we do is we select our footage, Control D to duplic duplicate it, then change toggle switches slash mode, click that, change the transfer mode to add. Then we can, using the pen tool, we can draw a mask around what we want to have lightened, want to glow. Then click M to bring up the mask properties hit subtract and then invert it or just play around with this until you get something like this then we hit f from feather and just feather this mask out by the way this mask one was uh, i added that when i was using the green screen don't uh, don't care about that okay so now we have this feathered out let's just move it in a bit like this we don't want this to be to or power of an effect then it will look like he is sparkling okay then uh, we'll keyframe the opacity by selecting the layer hitting T that will bring up the opacity keyframes hit the stopwatch we want it to be zero at this point go for some frames until this is at its full level of energy go to let's say 75 that looks pretty good let's say three frames forward and then back to zero okay so now we have this flash glowing from the energy ball so when we preview this once again it looks a lot more realistic again you can add the same technique to add glow on the on the ground right here thanks for watching this tutorial guys i hope it was helpful um I will uh, hopefully be coming up with more tutorials in the future. Leave a comment and a rating if you enjoyed it. <laughs> also, if you didn't, I like feedback. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video.